Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize the header section of Lambda. Now, this in this video I'm going to be customizing the corporate demo content, which has a sticky nav bar at the top. So if you want to customize uh, this part of the website, you want to go to uh, Lambda Customize at the top. And you're going to the Customizer view. So you can change all your options in this left-hand sidebar and then you'll be able to preview them in this preview pane on the right-hand side. So if you go to, let's for, say for example we want to change the text in the logo, you can just edit the text there and you should get a preview in the right-hand side. There. You can also add a logo on this left hand side just click select image and choose the logo that you want from your media library or upload a new one click choose image and you get a preview of your logo on this left hand side of the text you can also set another logo for a transparent image this is for use when you have a transparent header and after you scroll down the uh, navbar will change color so you can set another image that matches the change color of your navbar after it's scrolled if you want. There are also other options for the header. You can choose different styles. You've got logo on the left, menu on the right, logo on the right, menu on the left. So this will flip your menu over here. You can choose to have your menu below and the logo on the right with a bar at the top. So you've got the bar at the top, the menu below and the logo on the right. Or you can choose logo on the left with the menu below. So the logo will switch over here and so will the menu. Or you can center the logo and center the menu like that or you can choose to have a sidebar menu so the menu disappears and you can see it here in the sidebar there are also many other options you can do for the for the menus for example here when I open the menu you can see it's floated to the to the to the right you can change this if you want to float this menu to the left You can also change the width of the menu. You can see that it's uh, it's using a normal width of the page here to, to match the content. But you can make this menu full width if you want. You just choose the full width option. And this menu will now use the full width of the page like that. You can also choose to make the menu sticky or not. At the moment, it's defaulting to sticky. So as you scroll, the menu will stay at the top but you can choose to make this a standard menu by turning sticky off and then once it refreshes you can see the menu will disappear like a regular web page you can also choose to turn the top bar off this has a few widget positions where you can add social media and information about your site but if you don't need that you just want a simple nav you can turn the top bar off and you just get your plain white bar at the top you can also change the capitalization of, of the text inside these uh, inside the nav. So if you wanted to make it all uppercase, you could choose that, and all your all your menu pages and items will become uppercase. And you can also choose when you want the uh, nav bar to change size when it scrolls using this point, and you can change it to be a hover menu if you want so that when you hover over the items the menu will alt open instead of having to click and that's how you customize the navbar